Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The current Pakistan submarine fleet consists of two Agusta 70 diesel electric vessels with Mesma liquid oxygen AIP bought from France and commissioned in 1979 to 1980 and three Agusta 90B diesel electric vessels purchased in 1994. Three August 90 v subs have been undergoing a mid-life upgrade under a contract signed in 2016 with the Turkish firm STM as the prime contractor. STM delivered the first upgraded submarine PNS Hamza in 2020 and the upgrade on the remaining two submarines is undergoing. The modernization includes an integrated underwater command and control system a weapon control system, sonar systems, periscopes, an electronic warfare, radar and ship data distribution system, electronic chart display and information system, converters, a steering system and a chilled water system. The PNS Hurmat, one of the two Agusta 70 type submarine, has a Dolce starboard engine as well as problems with its ESM or electronic warfare support measure system making it virtually blind and non-operational. In summary, Pakistan has only two submarines operational at present that includes one Agosta 70 class and one Agosta 90B class submarines. However, once the Turkish firm completes the upgrade of two other Agosta 90B submarines, Pakistan will have four submarines in operation. Even if we consider that one operational Agosta 70 which is under operation may retire in coming future because of lack of support from France, it will still have three operational submarines with AIP. Now, in order to overcome the aging fleet of submarines, Pakistan had signed a deal with China in 2016 for buying eight Hangor class submarines, which is a derivative of Chinese type 39A Yuan class diesel electric attack submarine. It is reported that China will build four of the submarines at Karachi shipyard and it will transfer submarine construction technology to Pakistan. These submarines will include AIP system featured closed cycle Stirling engines. The first four submarines are expected to be completed by 2023 that is next year and remaining four by 2028 at an estimated cost of $5 billion. Now recently, Germany has denied the supply of MTU-396 engines to China, which has impacted the deliveries of submarines to Pakistan. China does have indigenous engine to power these submarines, but it's reported to be more noisy than German counterpart. Anyways, by 2028, Pakistan will have total 11 submarines with AIP which includes three Agosta 90B submarines with Mesma AIP and eight Hangor class submarine with Sterling AIP. 11 submarines to counter Indian Navy is good number for Pakistan and gives them an upper edge. We are not going to discuss about the qualities and capabilities of this submarine because in war the numerical superiority matters even with slightly inferior weapon. Now let's discuss about Indian Navy's present submarine strength and in this discussion we will not consider SSBLs or Ballistic Missile Submarine as they are strategic assets, mostly hidden and used as a second strike capability in case of nuclear attack. Indian Navy is currently operating 16 conventional submarines which includes 4 Type 209 class German submarine, 8 Kilo class Soviet era submarine and four Scorpion class diesel attack submarine. In next two years, Indian Navy will induct the remaining two Scorpion class submarine, which are undergoing sea trials, which means Navy will have total 18 diesel attack submarine by the year 2024. India has also signed a three billion dollar deal with Russia for leasing an Akula class SSN or nuclear attack submarine to be called Chakra 3 which will deliver to Indian Navy sometime around 2025 
which will take the total count of submarines to 19 now indian navy is the net security provider in indian ocean region with inclusion in quad its responsibility has extended to indo pacific it has two fold challenges to counter china and pakistan pakistan will have impressive 11 submarines with aip fielded against india talking about china it has world's largest fleet of submarines of 66 including conventional as well as nuclear submarine the magic number for indian navy submarine fleet is 24 similar to 42 squadrons for indian air force but the question is can it achieve indian navy has set up ambitious plan to build six more diesel attack submarine under project 75i with a proven aip system under strategic partnership model in july 2021 the mod formally issued an rfp for the same worth 43000 crore rupees or 5.7 billion dollars under strategic partnership model mod has selected masgao dock shipyards limited and lnt as the shipyards who will build the selected submarine design the two indian shipyards would have to collaborate with shortlisted oems the biggest roadblock for this project is that three out of five oems have pulled themselves out of this competition that includes france germany and russia leaving only south korea and spain in the competition the other two contenders left now are spanish navencia and south korean dsme which are now constructing s80 plus and dsme 3000 advanced submarines which would be offered to indian navy however indian navy must finalize the oem for p75i because it will at least take another 8 to 10 years to roll out submarines under this program indian navy has to take up split approach to overcome the challenges of project 25i and the aging submarine fleet it must collaborate with foreign oem to incorporate fuel cell based eip system developed by drdo in the upcoming project 75i in interim it must place an order for three scorpion class submarines which can be churned out faster by mdl as it has now the pipeline completely idle drdo's developed fuel cell based eip is considered the best among all other eip technologies such as mesma and sterling eips however the 8 to 10 meter long eip of drdo also need to be fitted and tested with submarine for which either indian navy has to spare one of its submarine or collaborate with foreign oems such as french naval group to integrate with existing submarines or new submarines under project 75i the success of DIDO's AIP is extremely important as this will pave the way to retrofit them with six Scorpion class submarine of Navy. If the right measures are not taken on time, Indian Navy is going to lose its present edge in waters even to Pakistan's Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.